What's back in YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne. I'm Chrissy. And we about to hit y'all off with another one of these Spooktober reaction videos, okay? We got the girl with the red umbrella, true scary taxi driver, horror story animated. Woo! I'm gonna ride a breath on that one. And uh, this one is brought to you by Lily Hill Entertainment. Ooh, I'm sorry. Lily Hill Animated. That's what I mean. All right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. All right. Uh, so uh, let's get right into it. That's Kent. Umbrella. This is umbrella wrong. <laughs> Goof ass. What? Hello. My name is Iris. I'm just an ordinary taxi driver in America. I got married last year. And this year, we're talking about welcoming a little angel Hello. to our home. Right. That's why I have to work twice as hard as I did before to give my family the best things possible. He's not the crazy that too. day, after driving a guest from a farm to the outskirts of the city, I was about halfway home. I saw a woman in a red shirt holding a red umbrella and standing by the side of the road waving at me. It looked like she was in a hurry. I pulled over and offered to give her a ride. The girl in red handed me a small piece of paper after getting into the car. It had the address and directions to where I needed to go. Uh, but the address was strange to me. Although I've been working as a taxi driver for more than four years, it was the first time I'd seen an address like this. Maybe it was located somewhere on the outskirts of the city. As I had expected, the navigation device told me it would take about an hour to arrive. Damn, that's a big month. Throughout the whole trip, that woman didn't say a single word. Everything she wanted to communicate to me was written down on papers. The atmosphere was getting colder, even though I had the air conditioner on to its minimum level. The windows were closed, but every few minutes, I could feel a blast of cold air. It was spooky and made me shiver with the goosebumps. About 45 minutes into the ride, my navigation device suddenly said error. Do then the woman in the red dress passed me another sheet of paper containing a small map on it. I had a caption saying that I needed to drive about 30 minutes more to arrive at her destination. Sometimes I glanced at her through the car mirror, but I accidentally made eye contact with her, and her eyes were staring right at me, as if she was staring at me the whole time. So I followed the instructions in the paper. I had to drive through a dark forest with the thought that we might arrive at our destination when we reach the end of the forest. But then, I had to navigate a turn, and next to it was a signpost in two directions. It said, turn left to enter town, and turn right to go to the farm. Now, the woman immediately raised her hand and made a sign for me to turn right, saying that this was a shortcut and that if we went this way, we would get there faster. We continued moving for another 15 minutes, and then she suddenly told me to stop the car. As soon as I got out of the car and opened the door for her, two freaky guys jumped out of the grove of trees as if they were about to attack me. They had guns. Two men, one short, one fat, both wearing a mask with the shape of a bird's head, looking creepy. However, right at the moment I turned on the car, one of them broke the glass with a gun and then pointed the barrel at me. I was never so afraid. With my eyes closed, I hit the accelerator pedal, jammed it to the floor as hard as I could. The other man immediately opened fire, but fortunately the bullet was going the wrong way. Seeing their prey run away, they kept honking and shooting while chasing after us a little while longer and then stopped. After I regained my composure, I immediately called the police and reported the accident. 
I was hoping to find a bar or some place to rest while waiting for the police to arrive. But the scary things didn't stop there. I must have been running about 30 minutes when I recognized that old sign by an abandoned gas station. Somehow I must have been running in circles. But even more frightening, the woman with the red umbrella was still standing on the side of the road, waving at me. I immediately looked back and she disappeared. I sighed a breath of relief. But then I looked up to find out that she had already navigated her way to the front of my car. What? Like a reflex action. I immediately steered the car and crashed it into a tree. I was very startled and didn't know what to think, but it was certainly scary. After that, I didn't remember anything. I just knew that the police had arrived just in time to take me and my car to the garage. But one thing amazed me. The police had arrested two suspects in this area who'd been living off the land growing corn and right below the sewer where I parked my car and was robbed by bandits. The police had found the body of a young girl and after investigating, they were able to identify that girl as Lisa. She'd gone missing, lost in this area about a month ago. Her car died on the road and it was raining so heavily she brought an umbrella with her and walked for a long distance but it was so unfortunate of her to meet these two bastards the story of the girl with the red umbrella has haunted me for a long time whenever i'm on the street and see a girl waving at me i get that sudden feeling of fear and dread I just can't stop thinking. Was this a ghost? An apparition of some really? kind? And then I don't think I'll be taking any late night questionable customers no, ever right. again. To be continued. To be continued. Continuation? So was the ghost? I mean, the girl with red umbrella. And what do you mean he ran in circles? Um, well, what do you think about that one? What do you think about the video? It was good. It was good? I'm saying you think it was like real or what? Yeah. Could you have believe been. it? You believe that one? Not the ghost part, but... Okay. He, he said he ran, away, he ran around in circles. Alright, so... I, I think that was a very, very... I think that was a very interesting story, as a matter of fact. I don't know. Um, you know, um, I mean, Could have been real. He was doing his job as a taxi driver. I mean, he was even doing a courtesy because usually, depending on where you're located, the taxi driver have to get dispatched and sent to you. You know what I'm saying? You don't just wave a taxi driver down anymore, especially now that they got Ubers and stuff. But they uh, don't pick her up and she give them those directions. She could have been kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? She could have been in fear for her life and had to lure people to those two guys. I mean, that could have been what was going on. Um, but my only thing is that after he saw these two figures in the forest, did the did the young lady ever get out of the car? Or they said he never mentioned that she got out of the car. He said, he he ran said in as soon as, he said the minute he got out the car to, to open the door for her, he, those two guys yeah. got out and approached him. Mm -hmm. And he said he hopped back in the car, and that's when they broke the window out. So I don't know if he he never really mentioned if she got out of the car, right? Then he said he just fired off and, and was driving after they shot him all those times mm -hmm. and he said that's when he realized he must have been driving around a circle because he went back to the same location he was at when he first picked the girl up and that's when he saw her in that same spot mm -hmm. so that part is very confusing to me because he was already what an hour away yeah he had to drive an hour and 15 minutes plus to get to that destination so for her to be in the red dress waiting was it was it was it a, a, a apparition or yeah, a ghost? I don't know. You know, y'all know how I feel about ghosts. So that part right there already got me. Like, nah, I was more believing the guys in the forest. But he said <laughs> that the two men were apprehended, and then they found the young lady's body. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so that was full. And then it said to be continued. Yeah. So what's that all about? What's the two? What's the continuation of this? One. You know. So, hey man. There we have it. Girl with the red umbrella. 
by Lily Hill Entertainment. Oh, I don't know why he's entertainment. Mm -hmm. Lily Hill Animated, man. Make sure you guys go check them out, all right? But let us know what you think about it. Jump down in the comments and let us know if you think this story is real, if this is believable. Uh, maybe you guys have some weird stories about seeing figures on the road or in front of your car or something like that. I mean, man, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. You know what I'm yes. saying? And while you're at it, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. I mean, it'll be great for the channel. Give it more exposure. More people can see the video. Yeah. Just like you did. And uh, if you're still here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the family so you guys can see all of our videos all right and ring that notification bell so you can know when we drop all of our videos you'll be the first one to be a member of that know the gang 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 gang, gang. all right you got anything else for the people peace all right man we out of here y'all take care happy spooktober